Oh, this shit about to be dumb, so I'm ready. Let's go! I need the screen records on. Big drip. Bitch, I'm off the big thing. Shout out to my nigga Cam in this bitch. All right, I'm ready. Y'all ready? Ah! All right, here we go. Let's go. First and foremost, fuck you, Shane Room. Fuck you. Fuck every single YouTuber that has used my fucking name in this past month. Fuck you. Ooh, that feels so good, bruh. Let me say that shit one more time. Fuck you! Shit. Woo! I gotta get that out there. I've been wanting to say that for so long. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you! God, that feels so good. This shit crazy, bro. I've been on YouTube for... Almost four years. The Shade Room literally never posted nothing. Nothing of me. Literally nothing. Not my daughter. Not my engagement. Nothing. The moment a nigga is scandal for cheating, then you want to post me? That's cool. So, that's cool. I like that. I like that. In my opinion, I feel like people only do shit when it's beneficial to them. It's beneficial for likes, it's beneficial for views, it's beneficial for the repost. That's it. They don't really care, they don't really care for you, they don't really care about you. They just want to use you while they can and while it's hot. Fuck you, Shade Room. Shade Room teams, whatever the fuck, fuck you. Go to their page right now and tell them, fuck you. When shit was good with me and Jasmine, why wasn't y'all posting us way back then? When when we had the two ta we had the two times family popping. Why y'all niggas weren't posting shit back then? When a nigga was really on his shit, really with Jasmine, being fa doing doing. Why was y'all niggas posting that shit back then? But as soon as a nigga get caught on some some cheating shit, then you want to post a nigga. Ain't never post my daughter. Ain't never post shit. As soon as there's an opportunity to kick somebody down, they took that opportunity. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wh whoever wrote them posts. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Any YouTubers that have used my name in this past month. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. If you disrespecting my name in any type of way. Fuck you. I would never in a million years do that to any nigga. Because I'm not that type of nigga. I don't care to kick people down. I really don't. Especially if you don't know the full story. You're just spinning people's thoughts and their perspe uh, perception into a different way. Into a, into a whole different way. And that can fuck some shit up. For real. A real life can fuck some shit up. Sorry. Because I had to spit my gum out. Because then you, then, then you got my fans looking at me in a whole different type of way. When you don't even have a full story. You don't even know what's really fucking going on. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. Because I know if more than half of y'all was in this position. Trust me. Y'all will not, this shit, this shit is crazy, bro. I, it's crazy. Everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to be a celebrity. Everybody want to be a famous YouTuber, rapper. You don't know what it takes. You don't know the mental stress, the mental, the, the type of mental toughness you have to have to really do this shit every fucking day. You don't know. So what I really just wanted to say is fuck y'all niggas. Fuck y'all. When, when, when we got engaged and we was doing all that shit niggas weren't posting back then, y'all wasn't posting then. Nobody was happy then. But as soon as shit crashed, the shit everywhere. So, fuck you. Please send this to them. Fuck you. Fuck everything about you. Fuck your company. Fuck all y'all niggas. Fuck you. Don't post me. Don't, po don't try to post me. Don't try to post my daughter. Fuck y'all niggas. And everybody on YouTube too, fuck y'all too. Fuck all of y'all niggas. Fuck y'all Nigga! Fuck y'all. For real. And that's that's genuinely how I feel. And but also I want to thank them. Let me thank them as well. Because 
y'all really helped me open up my mind. Now, when I got out, what was the first thing I did? I posted, I posted Alexis, right? And I'm going to tell y'all why I did that. I just, at that moment, I really got into that, that moment that I've always wanted. I'm going to stop caring about what other people think about me. And I'm going to stop trying to please people. I posted that in my video today and I really meant that. I'm done doing that shit. I'm done caring how y'all niggas feel about this. I don't give a fuck. I'm literally real life just going to continue to do whatever the fuck I want to do and what makes me happy because I realize in this life, the only thing that really matters is happiness. That's it. Nothing else matters. No amount of money, no amount of anything can compare to genuine happiness. So for now on, I'm just going to be doing stuff that genuinely makes me happy. That's it. If you do not accept that, if you do not you can't rock with that. That's on you. And I got a lot of fake ass fans saying, oh, Fredo, I can't fuck with you no more. I can't fuck with you no more because you did this. You did. Nigga, fuck you, too. Fuck you. You don't half of these people don't even know the, uh, the real story. If you feel like that, then this was your time to leave. This is your time to not fuck with Fredo no more. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Some fans are not meant to be here forever. You're not. But I appreciate the loyal ones that will stick through Anything, I don't see motherfuckers stick from the very start when niggas been lying on my name. And and if you let like the smallest things really define, like really try to define who I am as a person. If you if you allow that to happen, then you don't even need to be my fan. You just really don't. This was literally your time to leave. So I'm so happy. I can't I can't thank God enough. For everything that has happened in these past two weeks, because uh, past month or two months, because I am so fucking happy now, bro. Shout out to my sister, my own fucking sister, bro. My own blood. Let me speak on this shit. My own blood tried to ruin me, my nigga. Do you hear what I said? My own fucking blood, my own sister, knowing damn well I am the provider of my house. I, I provide for Jasmine, I provide for my family, all the niggas around me, my daughter, my own sister tried to turn her back on me and try to put me out. For what? For what? So I'm so happy everything happened because it really showed people's true characters. It really showed your true colors. My sister been, been low-key a hater. She been a fucking hater. But that shit just got to the light now. Now it's, now it's in the face. Now I'll never fuck with you again. I would never. And any nigga that ever turned their back on me, I will never fuck with you again. Because them true colors show. They real life did. I seen that in my own my own blood now. My own sister. Fuck you too. Fuck you too. And that's how I feel. I would never fuck with you again. And, and all my sister. Let me talk about my sister. My sister lived three hours away. In two years since Ava been born, she, she saw Ava two times, bro. Two times? And you live down the street three hours away? And you have the nerve to comment on my family? That makes sense. That makes sense. So, that's cool. One, you obviously didn't give a fuck about this family to begin with. Your priorities was never on this family to begin with. Two, you went out of your way to try to destroy your own brother. Regardless of what is right and what's wrong, I would never do that. I would never, knowing damn well, whatever position, whatever's going on in my family, I would never expose to the public. I would never fucking do that. And I real life could say some shit about her, but I'm not even, I'm not even going to go to that level because I would just be putting myself on that level. I'm only addressing what she already done put to the surface. But fuck you. And I will never fuck with you again. And that's in front of every... I will never fuck with you again. Fuck you. Now, on Jasmine. Jasmine, I love you. I love you with all my heart. I just got done talking to her like 30 minutes ago. Me and Jasmine, we talk all the time. We FaceTime. We call. It's crazy because Jasmine only had one outburst one time. Throughout this whole little scandal shit. She only talked about, she only had one outburst and I understood why she was mad. It was my birthday. I was with another girl. I'm going to be real with y'all niggas. I was with Alexis on my birthday and she got mad. She got mad. So, excuse me. Holy fuck. So, 
She got mad and she just went off and was saying Fredo did this, Fredo did that, blah, blah, blah. It's understood. Jasmine has every right to say whatever the fuck she wants and say however she feels. I will never, ever hold her back from that of, of her freedom of expression. I will never. I'll tell Jasmine, every say whatever the fuck you want. Say it how you feel. But Jasmine, Jasmine is a good fucking girl. She really is. And I appreciate her. I love her. I'm thankful for her. And it sucks the way things happen. But me and Jasmine, we don't have no animosity. We not mad. Y'all see that shit back there. Ain't no animosity. Ain't no bad energy between us. It's everything else. It's everybody else. It's everybody else starting shit. Me and her, we cool. We good as fuck. We real life. We not good as fuck. But we're at least on good terms where we can talk as adults and we can have normal conversations. But this shit is just real life crazy. Now, as far as any other girls go in my life, let me just say this right now. As far as any other girls right now, and I got to pick my words very carefully here because I don't want to say no shit. As far as any other girls go in my life, <laughs> how the fuck do I say this? I don't even know how to say this shit. As far as any other girls go, matter of fact, as far as my life goes right now, the only thing I'm fucking worried about is Ava. That is it, bro. If it's not about Ava and working harder at my business and trying to get better, I don't give a fuck about it. I don't. I only care about my daughter and getting better in my family. That's it. That's the only thing I care about. And as far as these other girls go, girl, fuck. I don't fucked up. <laughs> as far as this other stuff goes, what is the right word, bitch? I don't even know the right word for this shit. I don't even fucking know. I don't know. I fucked up. Y'all, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Yeah. Damn, bro, that's the only one I fucked up. I did good on everything up until that point. I don't even know what to fucking say about this shit. I really don't. So I'm just going to leave that right there. I ain't got no fucking words for this shit. I real life don't. But I'm so thankful. I really am so thankful for these past two months. Y'all don't understand, bro, because it's been so mentally challenging to just see so many people try to turn, uh, tear down my character and try to make me seem like something that I'm not. You know, I I don't read comments. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't go in my my comments. I don't give a fuck. But I do see some shit, and I and I just it's it's disgusting because you know half of y'all don't even know the full truth. And honestly, I don't I didn't really done say everything that I needed to say. If anything more that I need to say, man, the fucking the fucking bro, please stop swag. The link to the video is on YouTube, bro. I'm not talking on this shit no more. I'm not doing this no more. Y'all already knew what the fuck went on. Y'all already know what the fuck happened. Yes, man. Yes, Jabari. But I'm not speaking on no more shit. I'm not. I already said how I feel. Fuck the shade room. Fuck any nigga. Matter of fact, go to the shade room teams and go spam fuck you. And go get them to a million followers. Matter of fact, go follow them. Go tell them fuck you and go follow them. Please, go to the shade room teams and go spam fuck you and, and follow them as well. Go get them to a million followers because they want it so bad. Fuck y'all niggas. Fuck the niggas. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. And every nigga that's ever posted anything about me on YouTube, fuck y'all niggas too. Because y'all niggas don't fucking know me. A lot of these niggas, they never even met me a day in my life. And this is, this is, this is some real shit right here, bro. Y'all have never seen me in no... Bro, don't do that. Y'all have never seen me in no YouTube beef. Y'all have only seen me beef with one nigga, right? When was the last time that happened? That was a year ago. Before that, when did I ever beef with anyone? Don't fucking do that. Don't do that. Before that, when did that ever happen? It never happened because I'm not that type of nigga. I don't feed into negative energy and beefing with niggas. That's not the type of person I am. And even when I did, that was honestly... That was beyond my control. That was something that I wasn't even expecting. I would never put myself in that situation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not that type of person to feed into to the negative shit. And I'm going to I'm going to remain positive. I'm going to remain having my positive energy. I'm going to remain doing whatever the fuck I want to do. Y'all need to stop playing around because I have a strap and I'm looking over there. That's why. But stop playing around. Y'all niggas scaring the fuck out of me, bro. 
Let me go get my dog, nigga. Hold on. Okay, we good? All right, it's right there. You ready, AJ? All right, we good now. Don't do that shit. Please don't. Holy fuck. Y'all niggas scaring me, bro. <coughs> no, trust me, no one wants to be there. That's a, that's a third clip, all right? Anyways, what the fuck? There was something else that I had to talk, uh, touch on, bro. Touched on my sister. I touched on Jasmine. I touched on the other girls. It's really not, honestly, there's really not too much more I need to say. Um, I'm going to continue doing whatever the fuck I want to do. Oh, also, let me say this. I'm egging these niggas on. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I learned this shit. I learned how this shit works. I'm just going to keep feeding the fire. Like, for instance, today, the video that I posted, it's not me. I don't really care to do that. But I'm honestly, I'm egging people on. I'm just going to keep feeding. Keep feeding to the fire. This is what y'all want. I'm going to fucking give it to y'all. I'm literally going to, I'm going to continue to give these niggas something to talk about. Because I really don't give a fuck. I just really do not care. I don't care at all. Um, am I excited to move past this shit? Hell yes. I cannot fucking wait until all this little fucking shit is over. All right. I literally cannot wait because I get tired of talking about the same shit every fucking day. I don't want to be talking about this shit every fucking day. I really do not care. And also anybody comes with a rebuttal, my sister, who I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Don't tell me. Don't, don't send it to me. I don't give a fuck you. And that's all you needed to know. And that's that. Um, and that's that. I'm not saying nothing to nobody. Me and Jasmine, we fucking good. Leave us the fuck alone. No, you niggas cannot have my assistant. All right. And let me talk. Y'all want me to talk on Alexis? I'll talk on Alexis, all right? Turn them screen records on. Uh, this is the last thing I'll talk about. Matter of fact, let me talk about this shit. I'm going to go ahead and talk about it because I've never talked about it. This is going to be the first time I talk about this shit. Let me talk on Alexis. <sighs> Deep breath. Here we go. I've known Alexis for a very long time now. I've known Alexis since, what, March? Actually, I've known Alexis longer than that. But I've been having conversations and talking with Alexis. Here you go. This is what y'all niggas want. I'm going to give it to y'all. I've been talking to Alexis since, like, March. All right? Alexis is one of the coolest chicks I've ever met in my life. That is one of the most down-to-earth, soft-spoken sweetest woman I've ever met. There's no bad energy. There's no negative. There's no negativity whatsoever. Alexis has had plenty of opportunities to really fuck some shit up. You know what I'm saying? She had plenty of opportunities. And I've, through the time that I've been talking to her, I've really seen how amazing of a person she really is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when we started talking, I've never had the intentions on possibly being with her. That was never my intention. It's like, and she can tell you for herself, you know, and I, and I feel really bad because she is caught up in the middle of this shit, but she says literally nothing, you know, and this is how I can really judge a female. So many females would be so happy at the opportunity to jump and say some shit and explain their side and say this and say that. She hasn't said fucking anything. And just to see how she carried herself through all of this is honestly insane. But that girl holds a very special place in my heart. She really does. Because she really is an amazing person. And I'm, I'm sorry, I can't say that without smiling because it's true. She's an amazing human being. 
you guys haven't had the opportunity to get to know her like I do. I really know who she is. I've talked to her for so long that I know that she's a good person. And, and it sucks that she's in a bad situation and she's looked at as a bad person because that's she's not. And if you ever met her in real life, you'll be like, wow, this is really an amazing girl. And she really is. And <clears throat> I take full responsibility for, you know, having her mixed up in all this shit. It's not her fault. You know, it, it's really not. It's all my fault. And I'm not walling right now. I'm just speaking from my heart. This is the truth. This is what y'all niggas want to know. I'm, I'm telling y'all. Um, and I, I'm, I'm really, <laughs> this nigga's helping to cry. I really am sorry for, you know, putting her in the mix of all of this because she doesn't deserve the negative energy. Some of the negative comments you guys put on her page, put that shit on my page. It was me. I was the nigga that, you know what I'm saying, was out here going crazy. That was me. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't her, you know? And, um, and that's that, you know? Uh, and that's that. I don't know if y'all want to know more about her. I think that y'all should really take the time to, you know, really get to know her and understand her character. Y'all haven't even heard her say one word. She has not talked and said anything at all. I'm not going to be putting no females, like no, no relationship shit. I'm not putting no females on my page as far as like posting, like actual posts. As far as YouTube, I'm not doing that shit either. I'm not doing that whatsoever. That's not my focus right now. I'm not focused on that shit. I'm just focused on some other shit. But I had to speak on Alexis. And I don't know if there's even more that I can say. You know, um, <laughs> I don't know. Do, is there, I don't know if there's anything y'all I'm missing from what I can say. Do y'all understand everything y'all want to hear about Alexis? Let me know. What else do y'all want to know about her? I will tell y'all. What else do you want to know? I will tell y'all everything that y'all want to know. Um, that's pretty much it, man. She's a good girl, you know? Shit. That's it. She's a great girl. For real. All right. T t let me know if there's any, any questions y'all have on that before I skip that topic. Because I don't want to skip that topic without moving through. And thank you, guys. Thank you to every single person that really stuck by my side and gave me words of encouragement through all of this. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Like, for real. I'm trying to see what else. Is there anything else? I want to know where the fuck is she. She's at home. She's in Atlanta. She's not here. She lives in Atlanta. Are y'all dating? If you slime, wipe your nose. It, all right, more questions. More questions. Um, so when you met Alexis, what were your intentions? Um, that's a great question. When I met Alexis, um, for one, I thought she was bad as fuck. I was like, damn, they be bad as hell. Um, but I was not trying to get with her. I wasn't trying to be with nobody. Like literally we were just talking on some chill shit, on some cool shit. You know what I'm saying? Like on some friend stuff. So there, there was really no intentions behind, you know, talking to her. Really don't. How you feel about Keith? That's my motherfucking nigga. For real. <laughs> Spencer, I see you. Anything else? Ask the questions now. Cause this is the only time I'm going to ask this shit. I'm not going to say this shit on, uh, on, I'm not going to say this shit on, on YouTube. I'm not saying this. This is the only time I'm saying this. For real. You that, Swag said that was my intentions. Thank you, Swag. I appreciate you for supporting me, my friend. Thank you. Ask me more questions about her because I'm never answering this shit ever again. I'm not. Yeah. I'm never answering this shit again. I'm not going to answer it. Hurry up and ask me. Did I hit? What do you mean, did I hit? What do you, what do you mean? I don't hit females. I don't hit females. I don't hear females. Anyways, keep going. Keep asking, keep asking questions. This is the only time I'm talking about this shit. Are you guys dating? What is dating? What is that? I don't know what that is. Keep asking questions about her. Keep asking questions. <laughs> keep asking questions. This is the only time I'm answering this shit. Only time. Because I'm not, I'm not making a YouTube video about this shit. I'm not making a YouTube video about girls. I'm not doing that. It's not happening. All right. Today's video with Liz is my last video. I'm making something like kissy and weird shit. I'm not doing none of that shit no more. All right. 
I'm literally not doing that shit. Like, y'all the reason why I'm fucked up in this situation to begin with, not doing it no more. All right, can niggas that I follow stop commenting? Jabari, can you stop fucking commenting, nigga? Will you ever date her? What does that mean? What does the word date mean? I don't know what that word means. Will you ever do a couple channel again? Hell fucking no. Fuck that shit. That is the devil. I'm never fucking with that shit ever again. I'm not. All right? Ask your last questions because these niggas are flooding with some dumb ass shit. All right? Last, I'm giving like two more minutes because there is some dumb shit in my comment section. Anything else? All right? Yeah, um, but yes, in, in going back to me and uh, Jasmine, we literally talk every single day, bro. Like, for real. Literally talk every single day. You know? Um, and, like, hold on. I wonder if I can, let me see if I can call her right now. <sighs> let me call her right now. What if she say some shit? She probably sleeping. She was going to sleep when I called her earlier. Hello. What's up? Oh, fuck. My phone is broken. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? What you doing right now? You laying down? No, I just want to know. I have a little bit of work to do. What you got on right now? What you got on? Sweatshirt. You said what? Sweatshirt and sweatpants. I like that. You said what? I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> doing what exactly? You're not doing what with me? I ain't trying to do nothing. You say what? Why are you calling me asking me that? I just wanted to know what you was wearing. I just wanted to know what you were wearing. Can you take it off? Wait, what? Nope. <laughs> no? Wait. I'm just messing with you. I'm going to hang up. All right, I'll hang up. Yo, she be so mad. I'm just messing with her. See, that in itself can show y'all that me and Jasmine were cool, all right? I don't talk to her like that. I was just messing around with the camera. But that'll just show y'all the proof. Like, me and fucking Jasmine, we cool, bro. We chilling. That don't mean that we together. That don't mean we fucking. That don't mean we kissing. None of that shit. That just mean that we cool. And y'all can see the shit live, all right? To know that I'm not fucking lying. I, I have no reason to lie. And if she knew that I was doing this on live, she'd be mad as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. So don't go tell her. And if you do go tell her, just tell her I love her. And I know y'all niggas are going to go tell her, so just go tell her. Anyways, I just wanted y'all to see that and experience this. I don't think there's any much, any much I have to say. Alexis, uh, my sister. Shout out to my dad. My dad is fucking cool as fuck. Shout out to my dad, bad grandpa. Um, shout out to everybody on YouTube that showed me love. Shout out to my niggas in SSH. It's just nothing more. All right? There will be a new video Monday, all right? All I'm doing is working. I'm staying my ass at home, and I'm fucking working. I ain't fucking with you whores. I don't want anything to do with any of you whores. Um, and that's that. Game. I'm out. <laughs>